So the connector we're going to pull out is this left connector. And we push on the tab right there and pull the connector out. Here's the connector. And you can see the terminal numbers are written on the pins. And we're going to test those with a multimeter. Okay, so these are the pins on my connector. Pin 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, and 38. On the top row, pin 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Some very small paper clips, tiny ones like this. Two of them, and we go one of them goes into 38. Very carefully push it in there. The other one goes to pin 36. Four point seven ohms. You notice the meter takes a few seconds to give you the reading. Here's a schematic diagram of the TCM connector and the solenoids and the conductor plate and the electronics connector into the transmission. Attach one lead to pin 38. Pin 38 is common to all the solenoids. So the first solenoid that we're going to test is the line pressure solenoid. And that is between 38 and 36. And we want to see 5.5 ohms. That number, 5.5 ohms, that's a ballpark number. So the next one will be the 2, 3 shift solenoid. Go to pin 16 right there, 4.5 ohms. Pin 15, that's the 3 to 4 shift solenoid, 4.5 ohms. Pin 37, the shift modulating pressure solenoid, 5.5 ohms. 17, lockup clutch modulating solenoid, 2.7 ohms. And finally, 14, which is the 1 to 2 and the 4 to 5 shift solenoid, 4.5 ohms. If that 7 millimeter bolt is not engaging, it's because you got a deep well socket or your socket's too deep. So what I did was I took um, some paper towel and I stuck it into the socket to build the socket up till there was only a little bit of room for the bolt to come down into the socket. So this piece should be pushed all the way in. You shouldn't have to use the bolt to pull it in. So it should go all the way in by itself. Use some electrical cleaner up there to clean out anything that's obstructing the plug from going in. Also, you should um, test the plug on this piece to make sure it goes in before you install it. The reason I say that is because I have gotten a bad one of these that the electrical plug wouldn't go into. Obviously, you have to loosen that bolt before you pull the old one out. And you have to make sure it's all the way loose. Seven millimeter. Coat the O-rings with petroleum jelly. And the connector will go in. It will press in with two fingers. It will push all the way into the sleeve. So the one that's in there should not be loose. It should be snug. If you can reach up, 
If you can reach up and you can turn the black part like this back and forth, that means the O-ring is bad. It does not mean the conductor plate is bad. So if you have a, a leak, this is the most common place for a leak, right here. Does the transmission have good fluid in it? The more fluid flushes you do, the better, because you can't drain all the fluid out. You can only get about two-thirds of it out. So you need to do a few transmission fluid flushes anyway, and if you're using the Max Life, fluid's not that expensive. So, did the solenoids test good and the conductor plate test good, then there's no reason to open up the transmission. Unless you think it's got a hundred thousand miles on it and the filter's never been changed. Then yes, go in there and change the filter.